This is Keepsakes, the podcast. I'm Jay Ogonoy. This is episode 54 of the podcast. Thank you very much for listening. And I am with the good guys here from the Rayman of, uh, Rayman of Files. Did, did I say that correctly? Rayman of Files. Rayman of Files. Rayman of Files. I have with me on my uh, stage left is Rayman himself. <laughs> Tita Raymar Tita Raymar Raymar because the uh, VR the VR guys the VR guys uh, Chad Ramos hello hello what's up yeah. guys yeah and we, I also have I on my stage right is the in-house reviewer si Alan Silva hey what's up hello thank uh, you thank you so much I don't hey, know if you remember your name <gasps> oh you remember your name but I remember you were working on radio before radio? No, uh, no, 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 no. I did the end. Say uh, remembering people. Uh. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I think I think that's a different person. Sorry. Okay. So, all right. So on this podcast, it's episode fifty-four, and it's a milestone for me to say that Keepsakes is now on version two point oh. Version two point oh. I've just moved. Uh, b- before this podcast, ago about twenty-four hours earlier, uh, I was migrating uh, with the help of uh, my good friend Patrick. Uh, my website from Medium to WordPress, and we had we had breaking pains. <laughs> shut up, boss man. So we need to shut up, eh? Hey, boss man, shut up. Review one, boss man. Review one. Actually, I would have to shut up because uh, I've also been involved in backlog gaming before. Uh, hindi lang halata because that was in 2015. That was a heyday na kung saan I was writing anime reviews under a different name. Uh, you may want to guess that who's, who's that guy is. But then again, uh, salamat po, boss. Salamat po, boss, Mac. I wish you were here. Ayun. Uh, it's a milestone for me. I'm on my... Uh, I'm approaching my quarter-life crisis. Are you that old, Jim? I'm 25 this Tuesday. Yay! Yay! It's yeah. not so mighty, <laughs> Yeah, kaya nga 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 chicken dinner tayo. <laughs> it's a winner. So it's, it's still a winner. And our first recording was okay, pero I decided na maybe it could have more juice in it. It could have more, you know, para more, more oomph, maybe. Yes, more push. push, more push, more push. Kasi sa buga ko yun eh, kakagaling ko lang sa migration, and then tulog lang kaunte, which mm-hmm. by kaunte I mean six hours. Mm-hmm. Six hours. Exactly. That's, that's a wealth to us. What? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I was supposed to go early sa uh, uh, RMP review mm-hmm. ko, pero wala na eh. Late na ako eh. Alright. Well, dumating pa rin ako. I, I still saw my <laughs> boss. Hi sir. Hi ma'am. I mean, we're, we're, we're stuck in the September rush. Ayan. Uh, so still, uh, yeah, September pa nga ngayon. Yeah, because uh, Ghost Month is finished. So a lot of lots of work, not only in blog work but also your day job. Mm-hmm. I'm sure you're having quite I, a time yourself. I had the hard time last August. Uh, katapos na ng August yun eh. So I, I started my September still working on the field, pero I, I'm, I'm loving. I'm, I love working in the field as much, uh, more more than I love uh, working in the office. Mas gusto ko pa sa field eh. Yeah, I can. It gets sleepy sa office na yun. Yes, yes, yes. Hindi, masaya patulog sa office eh. <laughs> Ayan, so on this podcast, we'll talk about the current cosplay issue that has been running for like a few days until right now. Uh, just, just siguro mga a few hours earlier, Cosplay Mania has released a statement about this. And that will be discussed in a few. But first, yun nga, Keepsakes 2.0, migration from... Medium to WordPress. Basically, my basically my reason for the move is one, it's high time for this brand of mine. Kung itong project ko talaga. This is my own project. This is my solo project. The online journal Keepsakes has grown into something else to the point na uh, yes, thank you po. That is uh, uh, si Stan Galupo ng Back to Games is watching us. Thank you po, Stan. Thank you. Hindi kita nakita sa handshake kasi wala ka sa handshake. Sad. Aww. Sad. <laughs> Pero baka makita mo si Ainatsum yan. <laughs> Emin loves na yun eh. Ayun. So yun nga no, uh, again, uh, for the first time in so far in my life, kasi ginawa ko ng hobby to eh. 
you know, like, you've been working so hard para at least maranasan mo yung parang at, at you're working hard to feed this solo project. It's time for the solo project to level up. And by leveling up, meaning kung ano yung pinagbabawal ni Medium, yun yung mm-hmm. rason kung bakit ako alis. Sponsored posts are not allowed by Medium, technically, and yun. So I decided to move. So I had my good friend Patrick with me and yun, uh, collab, 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 tapos uh, we're now on WordPress. The site's actually live now. Uh, it took me a long time to rearrange the posts kasi mahirap mag-import from Medium to WordPress eh. It was supposed to be cool and Gucci, pero alam nyo yun, pinahirapan ako ng EGA. It took me how many hours? So, umuwi na ako ng ano, kumbaga nagtulog na ako mga alas dos o mga gano'n. Alright. So, yeah. basically it's time, like, Keep Chicks is growing in such a rate that it's time to wear the big boy pants. Yeah, that will yeah. upgrade. Yeah, yeah. T- tito na ako eh. The people <laughs> people call me Tito J for a reason. Kasi may pamangkin na talaga ako eh. TJ ka na. Tito J. So, J na, uh, Tito J. Tito J. Yeah. Guys, is that is that a progression for uh, para sa pagiging vlogger? Yung una vlogger ka, writer ka, as, as the years go by, you gotta read it to Tito. You know, but, yeah. Uh, everybody seems to be getting that title. People definition well. No, sir. Tito. 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 G-G. Ayan, si Bossing, eh, si Boss Mac, uh, Professor Jay, just make video about discussions and vlogs about your topics and compliment of your articles it takes before it's passive. Thank you, Boss Mac. I'm looking forward to... Actually, nasa plana na yan eh. Hindi ko na magawa. Walang time. Or I have more time watching anime than creating content for keepsakes. <laughs> Pero, look, Problems look. Problems of a one-man team. Yeah, yeah one-man team. This keepsakes is a solo project, a one-man team. And uh, mga, may mga, uh, the, the rest of the handiwork, hindi, pero hindi ko nagawa mag-isa yan, ha? The rest of the handiwork uh, is either done by my good friends, Will Hans. Yan si Al, if he's watching. Hi, Al. Uh, yan, uh, also, uh, si, ito naman, there's this event at Genesita, so Taka Musika. Pinapadala na ako ng videos ni Migs. I mean, ni Akachi. Yeah, if you probably know him. Hi, Akachi. Uh, ayun, so, that's... One thing, and yung yeah, I'm uh, currently I'm continuing to build my circle of uh, friends, not just in Metro Manila but also in Cebu, in Dao, uh, Tagaytay de Oro. So the Lilikat, uh, the Lilikat's been with Keepsakes in the podcast for so long. Uh, partner natin siya sa Tagaytay de Oro. Si uh, Gary Montejo, the Cebu cosplay event buzzer, yan. Partner natin siya sa Cebu, and yes, Gary, I will be going there for ArtCon. <laughs> See you there. Grabe, JB na pala, no? JB time. JB time. Hindi, kawawa. So in demand. I'm, so, I'm telling you, my work fees need to do thing, these things. <laughs> my work, I, I'm, 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 I'm working just to make these things. Kasi this is just, ano ba, minsan ito mangyari sa akin eh. Alam niyo kung hindi ako pinalipad ng uh, trabaho ko to Cebu and Davao, I think to Davao for the Manila Times Forum na yung pinawar din si Duterte, President Duterte, mm-hmm. ng Man of the Year Award, I was there! I was there, it was a voiceover! So, it was, just a, it was just a good accident for you? It was a, good, it was a happy accident. Okay. And okay. ngayon... Okay, best accident sa'yo, award niyo sa si Jamie. Hindi yun, hindi yun, hindi yun. By accident, you mean 2015. Well, that's what happened. Yeah, so that's another you know. video. <laughs> birthday ni Mama. Oy, happy birthday uh, sa Mama ni Stan Galupo. Te- and si Rina Lin, take your time for your website, Jay. Thank you, Rina Lin. Take your time as well para i-build ang Otako Bites. Uh, ayan, ang lungkot niya naman. <laughs> ayan, no? Um, yes, yun, sad, yun. No. No, 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 we're all no. good. We're just waiting for the tea. <laughs> no, <laughs> we're just waiting for the tea. Chat talaga eh, no? Pero again, uh, we have eight viewers on air. Thank you very much for joining me on this. Uh, this will be another long conversation. Usually, kasi the Team Shakes podcast is 30 minutes. Okay. But it's, this is going to get long and stuff. As long as the battery can handle. Yeah, it's connected in the outlet now. Eh. It's we easy have... powered now. Oh, yeah, should be yeah. Fine. yeah, it's easy powered now. Uh, we were at Dungeon Atiba earlier. Pero my phone decided na, hey, wanna trip? <laughs> <laughs> wanna trip? Hey, hi, RJ, let me rest. <laughs> the phone. 
There's also the very it's, avid no, my, fans. No, my phone is not Mona. My well, phone is not Mona. No, it's, it's not, not even Pikachu. <laughs> <laughs> if it's a Pikachu, it will tell me Kapi Kapi Ka. Kapi Kapi Ka. Kapi Kapi Ka. No, it just goes with... Like, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, right, so, yeah, uh, thank you for waiting. This is episode number 54. Keepsakes 2.0 is up. Nasabi ko na yon. Now we get to the fun part. Let's talk about cosplay. Current issue natin sa cosplay community ngayon, as far as I've seen from my circle of friends, is that there are many photographers who are offering services to cosplayers. Yes, may bayad po. And that is uh, one thing that we'll discuss. So, siguro pull up natin yung mga posts na nasave ko. Because Facebook has its own yeah, bookmarking to tool. Yeah? yeah? Uh, Facebook has its own bookmarking tool called, you know, the save items. And doon ko nasasave yung mga ano eh. So, uh, pag may cost plan ka, pag nakita ko yun, save. Tapos picture tayo. That's cool. That's actually cool, yo. Um, yeah. Let me get this. Uh, can I can I have a, a yeah. clearer picture about this? You have food thugs. Yeah. Uh, they're walking around sa yeah. convention mm-hmm. like how a cosplayer would. Has they offered to do services for take two photos? No, not that. Pero they're offering it on Facebook. They're announcing it on Facebook. Na, for example, si photographer A. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes, I'm offering uh, photography services. 350 lang po. Take pictures na po yun. Tapos may edits na. Tapos I can send it to you on Messenger. So it's so no, so. It's, Kumbagas, it starts online, uh-huh. and then it gets to offline, and then eventually we get to yun nga, deal deal tapos magawa ka na ng photo ng photo na inaasam sa mo. Of course, for a cosplayer, not not asa not asa. I I uh, ang uh, for a cosplayer. It's one treasure na you will keep kasi pinaghirapan mo yung costume mo either binili mo or tinahi mo no no problem about that and on the on the second thought naman kasi eh, kaya ka nga nagpunta sa events to express yourself now who will capture that moment when you were expressing yourself so we'll go to the list of items na which are already or not needed <laughs> It's actually not deleted, it's hidden. Or, yeah, okay. Hindi mo sila friends eh. Well, well they have sila kaging hidden or deleted a while ago. Yes. Okay, so we'll start with the post from Yusek Zairap, the Department of Cosplay Affairs. It actually exists on Facebook. <laughs> uh, the, oh, the first issue that I learned from the DOCA is uh, yung parang uh, you have to go to APA muna bago, ka sa, bago mo tawag sa rin yung cosplay, which is absurd. That's pretty absurd, yeah. Absurd. Because I've been to APA and I'm chill with it and yes, oh nga, pero, pero for, for something like that, okay, I understood that cosplay is an expensive hobby. It's a privilege na mm-hmm. kahit ako hindi ko makakating yun because I have other priorities or hindi lang ako confident sa sarili ko na magsot ng cosplay. Wait, you, you've been to APA, so according to that, you're a cosplay. Yeah, <laughs> no, a cosplayer. I'm a cosplayer now. <laughs> you're cosplaying as Jane. <laughs> I'm a cosplaying as a media man. <laughs> <laughs> Pero yun nga, no? another issue that uh, they raised to the light as the Department of Cosplay Affairs is the, to quote, petition to ban illegal peddlers outside the cosplay convention, benta prints and single shoots but no buy a ticket, unquote. Siguro you could, you could explain uh, how this thing originated or yeah. how this becomes so blo- bloated mm. now. Mm. One thing I've uh, t- uh, checked is yung isang... I don't know if uh, no, my memory serves me right, but I said to her there's this post on Facebook to, uh, discussing why there are such kind of photographers that they offer, yun nga, they offer their services inside uh, in, in events, but the uh, claim here is that some of them don't buy the ticket to the actual event. In which uh, me and Chad had prior experiences for uh, about that kasi we've been uh, we've witnessed ingress egress and all that stuff so we'll talk about the perspective first of the organizers mm-hmm. um kami at uh, uh, just to just disclaimer we're not speaking in behalf of the organizers we're simply sharing our truths about ingress egress and how promotion and marketing and yun nga lakad matatag marketing marketing <laughs> 
uh, how these things go and how to fill empty spaces with such activities. There are lots of perspectives. Maybe you want to have second opinion with them, but this is our kumbaga. my stand on this. My stand on this as someone who is in the events industry is that um, it is definitely unfair na photographer ka, naniningil ka, pero sa lang yung ano kita hindi sa ano wala sa event. Or even if you had paid a ticket. Kasi it's a service already. Uh, something that I uh, learned. Kasi ako din, content creator din ako. I wear many hats. I wear many hats. Mm-hmm. Event staff, tapos content creator ka, tapos fan ka ng cosplay. I like, I like, I like taking pictures of cosplayers. And, you know, parang, sisi- parang pag ang labasan na si Mang Jose, pipicturean ka tapos bigyan ka sisingilin. Pero of course, that is not the case earlier na sinabi ko. Ano. Pero alam mo yun, parang uh, like yung chat. Chat, can you tell us your experience? Well, sige. Yeah. <laughs> I have to repeat everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kapag yeah. yung buong 40 minutes natin. Well, anyway, I think for this scene kasi, uh, as an organizer, parang it's, it feels unfair naman for us or maybe so in the entire event, events organizing people na there are some photographers who wants to do, do this as a business. Because mm-hmm. here's the thing. Uh, first, photographers are doing their shoots outside the venue. Uh, outside the Halls. hall. Or actually the hallway. In the, in the lobby. At the lobby. Yeah, and the problem is, one, these aren't even exhibitors. Or, hindi mo nga sila rent ng group. Mm-hmm. Second, the organizers pay the rent of the entire covered area. Even the hallways. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Counted pa rin siya. For example, if you book for function room, function hall 1, 2, 3. Mm-hmm. The area outside, the hallway, also counts as a part of the payment. Mm-hmm. So technically, you're using the paid venue from someone else to use as your own business. Mm-hmm. So, kung treat natin to in a general term, or siguri, straight to the point natin, you're doing it like as being an illegal vendor. Mm-hmm. So parang yung mga overpass, Pwesto ka na mga tindahan mo dun, and then yun, ginagawa mo lang negosyo. Which is not really a good thing kasi it's actually illegal. Mm. And if you're going to argue about the idea of having paid work for your passion, it's actually alright. Kasi mm. here's the thing, your passion can also be a, as a business. For example, if you're an illustrator, maybe you want a fan art, you can sell it as artworks, yung mga stickers, yung mga postcards. Or you can also do it as a commission. So you paid it, but you have to rent a booth para kung sumu- i-showcase yung work mo. So like mga uh, works from Comic Con, Comic Con, and Ticket, you rent a booth, you showcase your skills. So mm. commission, and then mga postcards, stickers, etc. Mm. Now, for photographers naman, you can do yung mga ideas like yung mga private shoots. Mm. I've been but, part of private shoots, like for example, this one card capture sa akin, shoot at Ortigas Mansion, ang gusto ko yung sarap. Ang, you know, the, it's a different environment, it's less people, kayo-kayo lang ang mga nagpo-photoshoot, mga cosplayers, photographers, your group, and then you can explore the whole area na nirentahan ninyo for, uh, of course, may bayad yun, mga 350 pesos, 400. Uh, pero, that that practice as a whole, yun, yung, yun, it, enhance, it helps you enhance your skills in uh, photography, you know? So, yeah, kay- Ako, ang camera po is hindi basta-basta ang camera yan. It's a Canon PowerShot SX10 IS, which I still use. It's a bridge cam. Hindi ako sanay sa DSLR kasi trigger, trigger happy ako. Yeah. So, yeah. point and shoot. Yeah, point and shoot, point and shoot. Get the best way. Alright. It's, it's the way. Wait, mm-hmm. I'd like to get a bit more nuance on this because mm-hmm. a while ago, that's happened that uh, people advertise online. Yeah. That was, so they advertise online that they're selling their photo services. Mm-hmm. And then what, they're going to set up shop somewhere along the halls? No, they're setting up uh, their photo, photo setup, like putting up their tripods. Their yeah, lights, tripods. In the yeah. hallway. Mm-hmm. On the hallway. Uh, the for being online. an obstruction yes. to, to other guests and uh, demanding a space. Mm-hmm. And then a... Uh, uh, and at the same time, like, what, are they like walking around the car and like, hey, you want to take a great photo with us? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Back. Now, we, you just, cut, you just uh, pay 300 and then uh, you'll have your photo in two days. Mm-hmm. Back. They have reservations. Reservations? They do it, uh, no, they promote first on mm-hmm. social media, mm-hmm. so para reserve the slots. Mm-hmm. 
Or okay. siguro may ganun chance na probably walk in, so yes. There, there are some chances. Well, depende sa ano yun eh. Pero kasi nakikita ko ng mga photographers, uh, they have like, yun yun nga, reservations. For example, the set of time. The set of, ano, para, ah, para tapos ma-maximize nila yung time nila. They have their own schedule. Yeah. Kasi, so, but, who is going to put the argument na, yung parang people saying na you're not allowed to do page or photo shoots or whatever. Mm-hmm. You can, but middle guard, there's mm-hmm. a proper place to do these shoots. Mm-hmm. Because your talent still deserves some of mm-hmm. uh, Like ways to monetize or maybe to be recognized by the public. Mm-hmm. You have to do it like in a pro- more professional way. So like I mentioned before, do it on private shoots. Mm-hmm. So how do you do these private shoots? Technically, you have to do a plan, like find the proper venue, and after that, coordinate with the venue owners. Mm. So it's either you have to rent a space or maybe get a permit. Mm. So if it's, for example, about parks or maybe other public areas, you can just go in and then take, do a shoot. You have to do. You have to get a permit. Mm-hmm. Okay, permit. let's let's uh, let's turn this around. Yeah. Uh, I said, I can see why you know why that photography is actually quite difficult, especially on a day. Mm. A lot of things happen once, it's yeah. Like, and it, in the, it takes a, a good amount of skill to be able to capture that very well. So there is value in it. Mm. So uh, if you're in a, if since you guys are more, mas uh, as business as on business side, meron bang is there a way na these photographers can approach? you know, organizers and uh, have a more amicable relationship with the organizers regarding being paid photographers. I think for that, you could say that they could be counted as hired manpower for the event, for the event organizers. Like, for example, uh, they need photographers or maybe they, need, they, have, they have some sort of attraction in the area that there will be cosplayers doing shoots and they can do it as a service. Mm-hmm. Na, for example, some cosplayers don't have Camera, proper cameras, or maybe they want some more professional setup. Maybe the organizers can hire some photographers and then pay them as TF, qualities, or maybe service fee. And okay. then, you know, at least it's more professional and more organized, with, unlike the idea of doing it in the hallway, um, adding more obstruction to the pathways of the uh, attendees. That's, the, you know, that's the other, uh, the other <clears throat> conflict in the Aita West. Yes, there's value that the photographer uh, offers. But the cosplayer then, or the model, is the also brings a lot of value to the to a person. Baka portfolio pa din. Yes. Yes. Mm, yeah. yes. And, and it's, ano, uh, as you already said, it's not cheap to make good ones. Yeah. It's not cheap to, the, to make, you know, the cosplay. Uh, cosplay is an expensive hobby. It's a privilege. Yeah. Not only is it's, uh, not only it's a costume itself, but maintaining your body in a way that it looks attractive as a cosplayer. Yeah. Yes. All those things. It's very complex. and. Uh, logistics is tricky, all that. So who is getting more value out of what, and who should really be getting paid? Actually, when you think about it. But for this, if you're gonna put it in a way to make it more professional, because mm-hmm. it's more win-win in the side of the photographers, because it adds, aside from earning money mm-hmm. in some way, they also get more reputation. Like, for example, we could say for example, this certain event hired them, and then they have this new attraction. Uh, as like some sort of service or maybe some sort of attra- paid attraction for cosplayers. So like okay. in a price of 500 pesos, they could do several shoots and then seven different backdrops in certain teams. Diba? And then these photographers have some certain styles that it's mi- makes them unique. Okay. And then once na it's shown on social media, they can get attraction. And then at the same time, they also get paid. And at least, so we in a situation that both ways now, he earns money, he gets a good reputation, and it builds up his portfolio. In the future, he could be hired by his brand, sponsor, uh, other sponsors, diba? or he will, be get, he will become more popular that he could make his own photo book. Mm. Another example, case study, to, this is for an, uh, for an event in the US. They have this photographer's pass that they mm-hmm. pay uh, as, this is a different tier. And ang um, tulong nito is it distinguishes the photographers, the actual photographers who are doing these works for those are casual mga casuals. Okay. Uh, this is different mm. from the media guys. Mm. Okay. Uh, that's, that's another thing. 
And yun yeah, okay, so we talk about the concern, the pain point, kumbaga, and then we talk about the solution. Mm-hmm. Uh, pero in the Philippine context kasi, these are the things na... na eh, still foreign pa. Kasi. Still foreign pa. Talaga, kahit yung, for, yung photographers pass, still foreign pa yan. Though in Japan, in the Tokyo Game Show, mayroon tayo mga tiyatawag na cosplayer pass. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a different thing. Uh, pero yun nga, no, these, these are the different things. Kasi sanay tayo sa tier 1, tier 2, tier 3, in which wala naman problema doon, pero kasi pag dinagdagan pa natin ng tier, it could confuse a lot of people. We do not like few, uh, too many choices. Yeah, kasi so, the idea is here na when someone spends money, hmm. dapat yung kinaka-efficient or maybe more worth the bang of their buck, di ba? Parang, hmm. why give them more modular na makes them more con- confusing, di ba? Why not just put it unified, one single price tag? Hmm. Yeah. Okay, I have a question because the... Yeah, I I barely know everything about this. Mm-hmm. So, uh, something that kind of the like your peers saw. Nobody's being forced to take these services, right? If a photographer is saying, "Pay me this, so I get take good pictures of you," yeah. Nobody's saying that. Uh, yeah, do it. It's more like, uh, uh, mo, di mm. don't, don't buy it. Mm. So. Uh, nobody's being forced to take a service. Yeah. Mm. So why is everybody so mad about it? I think there's because a there are many, yeah. there's many people doing it. Nah, it's rampant. It's, it's now it's rampant. Beca- it's starting to become rampant to the point that pati mga organizers, they're reacting na. Yeah. Let's go to the statement of Cosplay Mania. They just posted it a few hours ago. Uh, yeah, I think uh, we're not in the na parang they mentioned something about... They mentioned something that yeah. only official, only the exhibitors <laughs> can <laughs> offer okay. the services or products in in the event. Okay. Yeah, so so we're pulling that up. Yeah, there are some okay. sort of... That, can we try to, uh, to simplify yes. that? Okay, yeah. uh, let's... Let's... Uh, ano, let's... Sorry. Okay, uh, nag, nag, pull, nag pull yung video eh. Pero yeah, it's... Uh, we're just yeah, pulling up the statement. Okay, to quote Cosplay Mania, okay, may emphasis to ah, kasi naka, naka-red dito eh. So that, that red one is with emphasis. Only official exhibitors will be allowed to sell goods and services at the event. All other transactions such as peddling goods and services without the consent of the organizers will not be allowed. Too long did it read. Okay, ganito May mga nag-buy na exhibitors. Usually, how much yung isang booth space sa event? Depends on the organizer, but at least we could say parang ballpark figure na mm. in the minimum would be like, the cheapest could be like 12,000. Mm. Kasi mga 4 to 5 digits yan, depende right. kung mag-share kayo ng booth or... Yes, if it, they allow booth sharing para at least kahit dalawa kayo, at least mabayaran yung isang booth, that's possible. Um, these are our experiences with uh, yun nga, yung mga marketing nga, no? Mm-hmm. It's, it's still part of the marketing mix, pero on yun nga, uh, my point here is, nagbayad yung mga exhibitors like four figures, five figures. If they want a standard boat, they they'll pay five figures talaga for the ne- the rest of the two three days event. Some will pay four figures for an art area, sa mm-hmm. artist alley, which is yes it. Uh, may mga nakikita tayo mga ganyan. And I had a good experience buying one photo of Mount Lady from Sad But Kawaii at the Artist Sally. I believe this was uh, the cosplay PH event. Okay. Yeah, mm-hmm. but yeah, yeah, that's, 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 uh, mm-hmm. the, these are case studies. Yes. So, uh, no, that, just to be clear, mm. or just, just a table. That's yeah. just a table. That's, that's maybe a table, maybe a boat. Maybe two days, two mm-hmm. days, three days. Mm-hmm. Mga 5,000 again. Mga ganun. Uh, that's possible because it's 3D today. Yeah. So that's that's quite a buy-in. Mm-hmm. So and ang 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 explanation ng cost me, I think kung wala din siya. Uh, it's unfair for the exhibitors who no. pay four or five figures yeah. para mag-offer yung mga nasa labas na mga mag ano ng 350 pesos, 400, 500, 600 na three shots tapos with edits na. It's it's unfair kasi it's ang this the entry, ceiling, the entry, the ceiling. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do the similar. Ano, let's make a sample scenario. Eh. Mm. What if there's a group of photographers mm. who has this kind of attraction? Uh, they'll have a service 
photo shoot uh, for those who goes to their booth. Mm -hmm. So we could consider this group of uh, photographers as exhibitors. So for example, they, uh, they rented out a bit of a large booth space. We could say that 30,000. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And then what they did is instead of charging these cosplayers, maybe what if they put it for free? As if yeah, it's like yeah, a token. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a gift for their community. Yeah. And then, you know, what they is they do it the final approach as a registration, first come, first serve, mm -hmm. So at least, my, maybe they can control the number of people who would like to get a shoot. Yeah, yeah. Now imagine this as this kind of paid for, for uh, photographers doing it outside, not renting a booth, and could possibly not even purchase a ticket. Mm -hmm. ticket. Now they did this uh, approach, maybe 500 pesos per shoot, and then they keep on promoting on social media, and then let's assume that uh, it could be like 10, then uh, cosplayers approach them per day. So imagine that 5,000 pesos. And then they tried the same amount. So times three, that's 15,000. Mm -hmm. Imagine when you know, how much did they spend on the event? As in the event itself, as, uh, excluding the transport and food, for example, zero. Mm -hmm. All right. So I imagine more uh, for this uh, no, certain group, they spent like 30,000 for a boot for space. Boot space, boot space for an na attraction. Na imagine more logistics. How much? Okay. Like, like assume like 5,000 for transport fee. Ano? Mm. Tapos Fuel. papagawa pa sila ng tarpaulin. Tar tar okay. Or sobrang kuya, hardcore sila. Ayon nila tarpaulin, Sintra board. Sintra board. Mas mahal ang Sintra board. Oh. Imagine din mo. So we can assume na boot setup, supplier pa nila. Mm -hmm. We can say na amabot na 15 to 20. Yeah. Eh, may lights pa. Oh, lights. How much? Oriente. Especially lights and the power, ano, the power allotment. Oh. Tapos what if meron sila mga other hired photographers? How much per day? Yun. So it will take them five to six figures mm. just to set up an attraction if they really want to. Tapos tira mo pa, uh, they're even, ano, they, char they don't charge those who ano, wants to join, uh, mm. wants to try their service. Kasi maybe it's not part of their promotion na mm. they want people to try out their, ano, mm. their skills. So know? the list of it is, you have uh, your mga, I guess, room. Headless, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what to call it. <laughs> or legal vendors. <laughs> legal vendors. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Legal we don't have a lack of a better term for this. We we can have a better term for this. Ano? Pero sige. Okay. So we have people that are selling services and taking value from an event without actually contributing to the value that they produce. Oh. The event organizers to produce without the event organizers knowing. Mm. Parang gano. So parang it's free. I don't kind of like it. It's a. It's a fly by. It. Kinda yes. 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 Or no, try this. Ano, put it in a much si different ano, uh, scenario. What if uh, the divisoria ka? Hmm. Uh -huh. selling food. For example, uh, maybe we we'll say you have this burger. Hmm. So hmm. you have your own burger stand. Uh -huh. Now imagine what if there's some groups of group of people na they made their own stand at the streets selling cheaper burgers. Tapos wala silang clearance. Wala silang clearance. Wala silang papeles. Wala silang mukha. Sanitary permits, food permits. Yeah. Business permits, business uh, permits, it's, it's the equivalent of the uh, ano. But the, ano, the, I think yung pinaka standout na nakita ko is if they set up a shop or something, yung may lights sila ganyan, mm -hmm. that means they're starting to obstruct. Yung pa. That's, uh, you can say that it's a similar scenario. Because mm -hmm. with these, these kind of photographers, na they're putting up lights, they're blocking the hallway, mm -hmm. and then sometimes it would occupy a certain corner. Now, for example, this could be a resting place for some attendees who are been strolling around for hours, diba? Huh. Or maybe some posters na who wants to set up there for their committee, uh, committee gallery. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you're occupying some space na is it, you're even exploiting it, eh, actually. Yeah, you're, you know, you're taking value away without actually contributing to the event. Yeah, mm -hmm. say you're doing it for your own personal uh, uh, gain. Huh. So you're becoming more greedy and then you're doing it, you're exploiting the community or maybe the kindness of the organizers of giving a free space for you to, you know, to in, you know, to just hang out and chill. That, yeah. that doesn't mean you don't recognize that people that do this shouldn't be making money. Yeah. That's just that mm. we don't like the approach. That's not the right way. Mm. Um, well, there are better ways na to showcase your skills, like you mentioned about the private shoots. Mm. Or better, be hired by certain you know, uh, hospitals for their projects. Mm. Yeah. Because here's the thing, I, I will be wearing the hat of a photographer, you know, for example. This is, these are some of these 
hypothesis that we make, some some of them are maybe exaggerating for real case study, pero if, here's the thing. Okay, I'll be wearing the hat of a photographer. I have a high-end rig and I have high-quality editing skills. And I've been doing these things for so long. Maybe it's time for me to earn something from it. Of course, gagawa ko ng portfolio niyan. Sana ko gagawa ng portfolio. Eh, hindi naman ako gano'n masyado kilala. Pero I have the talent. I have the ano. Paano mm-hmm. ko papakilala sa sarili ko? By taking photos mm-hmm. for free. And then, kung mag-offer ako na, of course, kasi, sayang naman yung in-invest ko dito for my talent. Oo. Sayang, sayang naman kasi, alam kung paano mag- illustrator, photoshop, after effects, so on so forth. Lightroom, Lightroom. Especially Lightroom, especially Lightroom. Eh, syempre naman, I, I, of course, these are different times. I want to earn something for myself naman. So, mm. I decided to offer uh, my services for a fraction. That's, kasi pag sinabing mahal naman, hindi, mura na yan. Some people will take it 500 pesos for three shots, ganon. Of okay. course, pero ang dami eh. And I can wear that. I can ano, I can I can understand that feeling na gusto as a content creator, you want to monetize on it. Kasi content is king nowadays. Content is oil. We're now in the age of content. Hmm. Eh ang nangyayari, marami tayong mga content creators. Yeah. We have a lot of people doing this and what makes you stand out? Ito, ito ang ginagawa natin. This makes us stand out because we're, we're the ones talking about this in public and with our faces eh. Ang hirap naman ito. Ang hirap ito. It's a difficult thing. Oh, kita na yeah. namin, mga dad buds naman. Mga dad buds namin. Besides, pag nakita kami, people are pissed off sa akin. They can punch me in the face without me knowing it. Alright. Well, yeah, you know, you can you talk about your opinion outside, then yeah. you get hit. Yeah, yeah. Eventually. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, pero yun nga eh. As a cosplayer naman, of course, uh, ako naman kasi, pinaghirapan ko, sabi ko nga, pinaghirapan ko yung costume, might as well make the most out of it. And, of course, I also hire yung mga photographers. This is an, these are, this is an example na evident sa mga cosplayers na nakikilala ko sa Facebook. So, they do this in different places. Some of, some of these do uh, it at the Teraton 8 Park at BGC, wala po sa mga tanong-tanong yun. Sa space naman eh. So it's okay naman. Mm-hmm. Pero they're dealing kasi, it's either to food, or baba- i- uh, uh, ibabayaran yung transpose, mm-hmm. yung nag-ano. Yun nga, no? um, there's this certain cosplay named, uh, nakapapit kasi yung post niya, so I think I can, I can, uh, ano yun, si Michio? Uh, hindi na kasama dito. Okay. Si Michio, sabi niya, of course, babagoy din niya yung uh, stand, kumbaga, how yung approach niya pagdating sa mga narito, no? Uh, by introducing the photographers to contacts and agreements. Uh, I think more of a din, parang it's more being, being sarcastic kasi mm. how the scenes go na mm. turning bad. And I think in the mention of since we are mentioning about content creators, uh, I think we can share some insights now how they earn money. Mm. Kasi, I think we can say... I don't... Uh, ako sa akin, ay, ano, uh, ang tagal ko na dito, mm. pero how do I earn money? <laughs> Kasi parang here's the thing, uh, let's do some case samples. Like for example, uh, we have some we have some friends na content creators who really talaga, you can say na, so, they made a great, big, great scene na they really earn much money. Like, mm. like Suri Sor, uh, from Ramal Goyat, na from start, while she was still a student, she does this like that's play. So she's like, sorry, it's a, a fellow, ano ha, ka, 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 ano, schoolmate yeah. ko, ano, I imagine K-T-I-C-C-T. this. K-I-C-C-T. Oh, I imagine this. Uh, during her school years, uh, she does her uh, live stream on Twitch before. Mm. So with, it's built, that builds up her reputation. Uh, it's enough that her earnings on Twitch managed to help her through her studies. Na graduate siya. Twitch. Mm. And imagine this, she does it in the right way. Na she monetizes it by her or no, parang her hardships. Na nagirapan niya from, kunyari, imagine mo, five viewers to a thousand. How many years she has to endure na hardships na in the right approach, na doing it fair. Kaya kaya hang hang ako kay Susi. No. Sorry. Hang, hang, imagine mo kung mo, imagine mo kung ganito yung approach ni Susi. Sorry na, mm. She goes to the public venue and then she likes to go to the people. Do you think she would reach this far? Would they approach her? 
if kunya regret similar yung ano yung style ng ano na how some of the group, some of the photographers are doing asking for money in person is kind of off putting or maybe from my you know, perspective or maybe you're doing it na ah do you you want to ano do you want someone na awesome na let's play ah you can pay ano pay me ganito eh possible diba? pay It's, I mean, uh, if that's a beforehand discussion, oh, you know, because oh, what matters in the end is people agree to pay for your service. Oh, but people about, only agree to pay for you if they something so if they see something special. Oh, or if you do it in the right way, na parang it doesn't annoy the people or doesn't make it yes. look, you look like you're like you're desperate for money. Yes, and this is why Patreon exists for cosplayers. Yeah, yeah it's a Oh no, Patreon. No, <laughs> Patreon exists for cosplayers because. <laughs> Is actually nari This is our second take in discussing this matter. Well, well, photographers, well, it's, pero uh, I've never realized until now that this is already happening with cosplays on Patreon. Mm-hmm. And I've been uh, acquainted. Kung bakit pa nakikilala ko yung mga cosplays na ganito. Some of them do still uh, after all these times. Prefers not to have a uh, Patreon because, parang, of course, they want to express. Eh, hindi naman sila, they, they don't, ano, eh, kung parang, hindi naman sila ganon ka desperado. I, I had, I have friends like that. Uh-huh. Pero that's oh. a different case. Because most of the people, kasi, um, they have their own Patreon to have, to, to have the fans support them, mm-hmm. which is normal, na. No, for the part of Patreon, naman, I think it's. Depends on your moral, on your moral values. Mm-hmm. Na, parang it's fine, no man. It's not okay. If it's not your cup of tea, it's fine. Oh, you don't yeah. need to force yourself. Oh, pero in this case, a photographer's case, okay. I, I, I diba, again, uh, I'm standing with the people who create content who are uh, who are better than me at creating such. Na pinaghirapan namin yung talent namin. Might as well make something out of this. But the counter argument here is that. Yun niya. Uh, Oo nga, gumawa ka na ng portfolio. Okay, pakita mo sa amin. Hmm. And then, yung, yung, yung ano eh, make it, let's make it official. Kung baga, okay, uh-huh. you can have a photographer's pass. So, sige, we'll allow you to do that. Uh-huh. Uh, pero, huwag naman yung parang hindi ka magpapayad na, hindi mo ka may babayaran kahit man lang yung ticket. Kasi yung idea para, is, ano eh, yung, the idea is, kung may cheap, may mo sobrang cheap yung value ng ano, mga skills, mm-hmm. na you're doing this kind of approach na, You're doing it in a uh, more of a guerrilla tactic approach. Mm-hmm. All right, diba? I, mean, um, I think I think the best shorthand version of that is you know, if you want to be paid professionally, then act professional. Yeah, yun. That's that's a better ano, approach. A uh, better ano, yes. way of saying it. Because mm-hmm. if you want, because in a, the, there's a lot of content creators. Mara mita na kita. Mara mita inspiring. Mara mita sa taas. Mara gusto ko makita. Oh, I think like, you know, for example, what, what we had just said, na people not only pay for skills, but also the name. So, mm-hmm. what action you do, the community or whatever you do, on like for example, you how you sell yourself, it's going to give some impression on your, ano, on your reputation. So, if you're going to do this kind of approach, na ah, yeah, you can, I can, ano, you can pay me for ano, doing photos of ano. Your costume for our cosplay at SMX hmm. or when you're at some events, if you're, you're cheaping, you know, you're making it yourself cheaper. Huh. Why not do it? You know, uh, why not, for example, you mentioned a lot of times that na, na, do a private shoot, showcase your skills there. Huh. If the cosplayers are impressed with your skills, maybe they could add more bonus, diba? Para hmm. kunyari, if you're asking for 1,000. Maybe they're so impressed that they triple the value, you want a payment because you did really great, diba? Hmm. I mean, that's a pretty wishful thinking, but it could happen. It could happen, but it's true. The reputation is basically a, a big part of what you build in this kind of industry. Hmm. So if you want to build it, uh, you're doing mga, ano, you're trying to skirt rules that organizers put and you're leeching value off their event, hmm. that's not a good look for you, you know? Yeah. You're more like a leech, because... Uh, you're just pitching you for uh, the exposure of the event just to sell yourself. Mm-hmm. Dito naman kasi, uh, in, uh, on, the, on this issue kasi, sa, yun nga, na, na, na-raise na natin possibly all sides. Pero yun nga, ang pinaka-tipping point dito is the organizer telling people, telling his guests, 
visitors and the like na para sa mga kap- para sa kapakanan ng mga nagbayad ng four figures, five figures sa boot namin sa event, wag naman ganyan. Mm. Kasi imagine mo, what if grabe din ang tao sa iyo? Oh. Ikaw ang popular. Oh. Will you be happy? Hindi, di ba? Hindi, wala akong so, nakitang value. Of course, eh, nan- nandito tayo. These are events of value. Hindi natin to kumbaga parang ano, natin na to dapat ibaba kasi we're already at this point. Mm. We're already at this point na kung saan oh, nga, rising prices, inflation, all that stuff. Yes, we get it. Uh, marami mga case studies na pwede pag-usapan about uh, me, about photographers, about this cosplay, cosplay photography thing. Eh. Nga, ano, uh, best case study ko dito, private photo shoots. People are doing that and best example is extreme moments. Yan talaga yung ano eh. Yeah. I think na, uh, I think na, that was ako rin yun eh. Yan yung mga gusto kong puntahan. I want to participate in that. Kahit yung yeah, gagani-gani sa'yo. Hindi, it's cosplay tourism. Oh, okay. Basically that. We pay to go to different places to experience something different. Naka-travel na kami, nakapag-cosplay photoshoot pa kami. And that's one thing na natutuwa ako na it happened, pero sad ako kasi hindi ko alam kung makakapag-participate pa ako sa mga ganun. So, ang nangyari sa akin ay go around the country na lang. So, what they do is parang, okay, you guys come with us, we'll put you in a van, you go to a nice location, and yeah. we'll do a photo shoot there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You, just, you just pay this package, you get to keep all the photos. Like yeah. That? Oh, wow. That's that's actually a very nice yeah. service. Yeah. Even for us na, we're not even more into cosplay, di ba? Parang okay. the idea is really good. The idea is attractive kasi Saan ka makakakita ng malaparte nun na lugar somewhere around Metro Manila? Wala. You have to go to some specific place in the province. Sometimes you have to go to as far as Tarlac. Sometimes you have to go as far as the Hundred Islands in Pangasinan, in Cebu, in Dawa. Maraming mga gandang lugar dito eh. Yun yung sinasabi ko before. I've been saying this to myself before. Sana supportahan ng Tourism Promotions Board ang mga ganito activities where in which cosplayers are touring around because this is tourism. Mm-hmm. That uh, actually is a very interesting solution. Yes! <laughs> it happened before na, na ngayon we have to re, re, uh, realize again case study po ng, mm-hmm. how, ng approaches sa cosplay photography. Yeah, no, Now we move on to the yeah, comments. No, Ayan, uh, this is a public post. This is uh, posted by one of my close friends, Naro. Naro kung nasa naman. We'll see each other at Cosplay Mania. Bago ka mag-post ng rates mo sa cons, give due respect to the con. Hindi ginawa ang con para sa negosyo mo. Hashtag respect the organizers. Uh, next one, yeah. siguro. Yes. Kasi. <laughs> oh, next one is from, yun nga, ito, ito yung promotor, isa sa mga promotor ng Extreme Moments, si Dori Medina, Chiso Studio. Uh, to quote him, I've seen posts about everything in conventions being paid and not anywhere free. As someone who advocated, put in a lot of effort stimulating the PH Costco merch market, I have to say that this is BS. A lot of people have started to sell prints, photo books, posters. Some photos have started their shooting services during conventions. It's a good start. It's going to be something big in the future. Now, here comes the other side of the coin. People are getting afraid that all things are getting paid photos to shoot your cosplay, cosplayers to shoot. Frankly, the Filipinos everything, free loving attitude is annoying. But don't fret, your free lifestyle won't end. Everything paid is optional. You may choose not to pay if you don't want to. That's when friendships or networking comes in. All your favorite photographers may charge for his services, but not all the time. They can shoot you for free, but don't abuse their kindness. The same can be said the other way around. Photos can always invite cosplayers or models. And as long as you don't act like a dick or an a-hole or act as if you own them or be creepily perverted, I'm sure they will work for you. A point of caveat though is people will decline you if they don't feel comfortable working with you, be it paid or not. People who are very resistant to change are usually those who have a problem. Change is always there. People need to adapt to go with the flow and change for the better. That's why we are human. End quote. Meron pa tayo dito ang uh, ano eh, um, isa pa eh. No, 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 no
um, uh, this issue has grown so so loud that uh, si Alice, uh, if ever, anyone knows Alice in Not So Wonderland, uh, of course she of course she said in jest na oh sige since nagpapabayad yung mga photographers might as well magpabayad din ako uh, photo, po, for photo 20 pesos photo tapos selfie natin 30 pesos that's a joke ha that's a joke she said mm. she said it's a joke pero we I get I understand the point and it's actually possible yeah so there are a lot of worst case scenarios na could happen if this issue doesn't resolve, or maybe if this group of you know, photographers would, you know, would, have, would have stopped from it's doing actually, it. It's, it. This actually started with good intentions in mind, eh, but mm-hmm. this is the road to hell. Okay. And it's paid with good intentions. Because like you mm-hmm. mentioned a while ago, na, you can still monetize your skills eh, as a photographer, but do it in a much in a much professional way. You can get an approach na you're cheating in yourself. Na, Ano yun, parang yung idea parang sachet yung value mo mm-hmm. when you're doing yung cosplay shoot, photo shoot na fee on conventions. Mm-hmm. Uh, alam nyo, kasi italaga yung mga talagang legit na nag-offer nito na talagang legit ang talent nila nadadamay sa mga ganitong ano kasi ang dami na nila eh, really, it's, it's quite kind of scary kasi we have a few good men. We only have mm-hmm. a few good men in the community. And then, baka ma-turn off sila kasi doon, it's getting rampant. Sabi ko nga, this has come to a point na pati yung organizer na kaya react. And will we be seeing these kinds of reactions from other organizers? It could possibly be, you know, gonna happen na uh, even other organizers would, you know, make an official statement about this because first and foremost, it's illegal. Okay, so uh, I, think, I think what we're getting at is maybe we need to come to an agreement kung ano nga ba ang rules natin as yeah. photographers uh, when it comes to uh, making money, maybe, or uh, like it's an extra set of codes for ethics, I guess. Mm-hmm. Kasi what's the worst case scenario na pwede mangyari? There, uh, there might come a time na ano, magiging busy nung nabawal na magpakuha. Yeah. Yeah. Worst case scenario, yeah. yes, yes. Kasi it's possible na with this kind of mindset, people will be charging oh no, money na for other mm-hmm. stuff. Things like taking photos, being photoed, diba? Mm-hmm. From cosplayer side, from the photographer side. Na, and the idea is, no one wants to get, take a photo anymore. Or maybe there won't be any cosplayers who's willing to be photographed. Kung sa helping nila makikita natin sa Facebook feeds, and the uh, pinaka worst case scenario niyan, bandang cosplay photography. Oh, and uh, there are other possible other uh, scenarios. That's, that's an exaggeration, but that can happen too. Because we also had an experience in Best of Anime, oh. I think with my friend with Martin from uh, We Work for Games, we're doing a coverage mm-hmm. event. So obviously, we're doing you know, a coverage outside the hallway, so we're taking photos of cosplayers. Mm-hmm. We encountered some several times, like two times or three times, na some. Cosplayers are refusing because they said someone's taking photos of them. Mm-hmm. So we just don't, uh, parang first, uh, okay, we just respect the wishes. Yeah, yeah, respect the wishes. Respect, respect diba? Mm-hmm. And then there are some photographers that parang maharang na nipo yung ganito, they're chewing us away. I mean, like. Uh, Alam nyo, ang pet peeve ko talaga <laughs> is yung mga photographers na hindi nagpapasabit on those kinds of venues. There's this mm-hmm. one. Alam nyo, na experience ko to two years ago na someone, someone is telling me na pag ano wag, wag ano wag kang makisabit na ano papayag ka pag I will agree na may magpasabit na photograph sa akin because I'm a novice a novice and you're an expert I will learn from you Kasi, don't keep oh, keep us the idea is you're shadowing that's the proper term you're doing you're shadowing the better photographer so it's like you're learning something from the photographer by hmm. uh, observing him and also doing how what he's doing. Parang funny style niya, na try mong gayahin kung tama, and then that's shallowing. Parang, mm, sure, it's imitation, yeah. but it should be the sincerest form of flattery. Na may lumalapit sa'yo na gano'n. Maybe, oh. yun nga eh, Pete. Pero, it's, ano, I'd still put myself in this stand na gatekeeping yan. Well, actually, you could say na, yeah, it's gatekeeping. Gatekeeping yan. yan. Kahit ka sabihin mo, oh. kasi shadow ako sa'yo, then, at saka, you could have politely said na no, pero parang pangaralan mo ako, okay, I understand that, out. Yeah, di ba? Parang the idea kasi, why are you gatekeeping? Hmm. Parang, the idea is you're, you're occupying something na is not even yours. Wait, wait. So, 
merong magpapashoot as may photographer. Mm-hmm. As a photographer na yun, pag may monkey shoot the, in a public area, mm-hmm. or in a public okay, area, where, ano, where taking photos of everyone is fine, yes, bawal. Sa so, sigilan, no. Well, no. Like, block you or para papalisin ka sa or they do shoot your way. On what rule? Because, well, the, the idea is like, it's theirs. <laughs> These guns, guys. Do we need to show our guns? <laughs> <laughs> uh, is, this a, is this a telescopic lens contest? You know, you know, baseball bat, a mini telescope, side scope. So, no, plus up your seven. I, I mean, I think, uh, I think on that end, it's more. It's you go to the house there. I guess the model, if the model doesn't like it, if my set, light setup, okay, I can understand. Though that it shouldn't be. Yeah, it shouldn't be. <laughs> Unless it's inside the area, but mm-hmm. it's their pool, they rented it, uh-huh. and they're right. Mm-hmm. And then, for example, if the cosplayer is not comfortable with the, uh, no, being photographed by random strangers, then it's fine, because uh-huh. you have to respect that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But if it's in the opposite way, na photographers are, you know, are gatekeeping. It's my catch. The cosplayer is like, hey, now it's in the or if you na like, sinasabi ng cosplayer, ay, ano, kasi may shoot, hindi na ba? Okay, on the flip side, baka, baka kasi there's some, uh, ano, sisingit, maril na mapasok sa frame. Hmm. Na, Pwede ano, yun. I think, hindi ka sa'yo, parang wait lang. Hindi ka sa'yo, parang wait lang. Hindi ka wait lang, sir, ano, mamaya na lang kasi we're doing, may proper framing pa kasi. Yun, yun. Kasi iba yung approach sa akin nung, ano eh, nung kung sino photographer yun eh. Uh, that, uh, he approached me badly. Yeah, parang yeah. pinangalanan pa ako, okay lang. Okay la, I'm, I should be fine with it. Pero parang at the back of my mind, sabi ko, okay, but that's off putting. Yeah, I'm very happy. Something like this. This is my model now. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me. Hindi. Papay, hindi. Sa sabi niya, this is basically as well. Papayag ka pa na ganito yung ka. Siyempre, hindi. So, huwag kang huwag kang ito. That's yeah. kind of putting sa akin talaga. Hindi ko makakalimut. Uh, medyo nakalimutan ka na, pero that, oh. that, the feeling of it, I will never forget. Oh, oh Jay, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe it's my emotions running high, pero um, this is not the case with other places kasi eh. Sa Japan, pipila ka eh. Yeah, uh, kasi gano'ng respect eh, na take your turn. Uh-uh. Kasi at least, maybe it's my yung, emotions running high. For example, may mag-flash photography, the lighting condition would be messed up, mm-hmm. diba? Mm-hmm. So take turns. Mm-hmm. Or maybe, kaya may proper setup, may mga lighting, so, mm-hmm. you know, to utilize the setup, you have to fall in line, para hindi, ano, yung angle mo, or maybe yung composition, sobrang messed up na, singit-singit ka lang, di ba? Yeah, but you can't go play new models. Yeah. You gotta go, because the last time people got to play people, it was called slavery. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, it went dark, boys. I <laughs> can't see. It's so dark. And, uh, it was just in the back of my mind, I'm sorry. But uh, <laughs> I mean, kind of flow yung argument ko, no? Pero that's, that happens. I mean, we can give it the benefit of the doubt that maybe he just came off wrong. He, he had a, maybe he's stressed. Uh, oh, most yeah. na, kasi maybe there are some people that keep on bugging but, uh, but if it keeps happening, then that's probably a problem. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because actually, if an organizer was there and you, at the wrong time, shoot him off, well... Can you guess who's gonna be kicked out in the venue? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, so uh, we went to the topic of paid photography in conventions uh, uh, at the convention halls to the counter argument na okay this uh, yung argument that this is not okay because and and this is becoming a seller's market in mar- mm. uh, seller's market meaning yung mga sellers, yung mga photographers who are offering these kinds of services have the upper hand compared to sa mga cosplayers na they just they just want to have quality photos na ano pero can't afford the services if we are in a seller's market we have the right we sellers have the right to raise our prices well depends pero yun nga eh. Uh, in, in contrast naman sa buyer's market, if you talk about buyer's market, yung mga consumers yung uh, nasusunod. Of course, there's demand. There is a demand for cosplay photography because people love to be creative. People love to express themselves. And that's a good thing. People mm-hmm. like to look good. Yeah. <laughs> like to be- obviously, obviously. And of course, uh, yun yan, no? if uh, we, uh, we to go to the whole discussion, we have mentioned case studies about this, how it can be solved, how this has been solved before, 
And we can and the the uh, what we're stressing out here as content creators is that hindi dapat maging seller's market ang cosplay photography. Mm. Of course, we're turning we want to turn that into a buyer's market na kung saan maraming demand for cosplay photographers na na regardless of the quality, regardless of the skills, regardless of the rate, regardless of the skill set. Eh, yun nga, ma- there's still demand. And there is still demand for cosplay photography. Kasi may mga, there we have a few good men who are still offering themselves to the community. I can imagine this na parang, if you're doing toy photography and then, hmm, may may picture na, na, kung, 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 kung may nag-picture ka ng action figure, hmm. sige din mo yung ano may ari. Pag na idea, imagine, imagine that. Pinagpahit na nga ako para mabili itong laro na ito, sisingili mo pa ako, wala na nga ako kapera-pera dito. Investment ko na yan eh. Anong bibigay ko sa'yo? Well, yun ang idea. Pero, yeah. like we said a lot of times na there are some better ways or more professional ways to monetize your talents, eh, your mm-hmm. skills. Mm-hmm. Doing this in yung uh, paid photo shoots in conventions that you don't even rent the booth, or you're not even part of the organizing body, that's a different story. It's really a big no-no. Because I'm not saying that in a, no, in a more general term, you can get illegal vendors. Hmm. You know, it's as simple as that. Don't cheapen your value, uh, no, your, uh, no, your quality. I mean, okay, that, why don't we try to uh, make an approach for them where they don't have to adjust way too much time, but mm-hmm. it's still feasible for them. Mm-hmm. So, so we know then, uh, yeah, take photos, but don't sell, but don't sell the services in the con itself. Meaning, uh, cause the like, convention photos are free. Like if you want better ones, you can go to a, to a studio and make a shoot. Yeah. Uh, we have studios in the Philippines. Eh? We have studios in the metro that offer such. You oh. sell your studio. Oh, what you uh, don't sell your phone. No, yes, as a photographer, I'm gonna approach you. Bro. Maybe they don't like it because they look conspicuous. They bring a friend. Yeah. Kind of thing. Mm. Uh, for the creative market, for the creative industry, reputation is a huge thing. I guess. Yeah. So build it. Uh, you you gotta give for a bit first. I guess. You gotta build that reputation. So, and it's actually good for that. Like, you also build something with the organizer because it, it shows that you're making a pleasant experience for the people in there. Mm. If you're so you're adding a value to that convention. And at the then, same time, you're inviting everyone to join you at the studio. Oh, mm. I mean, it's a, it's more of a long part, a long long game chat, mm. but uh, it's more sustainable. Yeah, mm-hmm. so it's a good way to promote your skills and maybe you want to set up set up your own studio. You yeah, mm. now if people want to take photos with you and you know, parang uh, uh, they don't want to pay, and you, and they know they do it for free, sana sa convention, it's your right to refuse. Right. Like, good example, like see the other made popular photographers. Jada Plante, right? Yeah, I mean, I know a bunch. I don't know if I want to drop names, but I know a bunch. One yeah. of them is a real tall guy that walks around with the light. Yeah, so yeah, a real, real, real tall guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, 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 that's a good school guy. He's a big, guy. he's a big guy, Irving. Oh, yeah. Big guy, Irving. Oh, cool guy. Sir, I call him sir, but he's not saying Irving. Yeah, he's, he's, he's a very good guy. guy. He's the best guy. And one of the best people, one of the few good men. And, uh, you know, from, and, we know them because they have a great reputation. They've been doing this for a while, and uh, they approach the right way. They yeah, the right way. he's the guy who like, usually has that parang portable ladder mm-hmm. or a better higher angle shots. At least he's higher got, angle shot. Yeah, at least <laughs> imagine that he has a portable setup, but he doesn't obstruct the area because he moves around. Oh, mm-hmm. right? mm. Another example uh, is the yung, uh, yung isang post ni Eric DC who is returning to uh, coffee photography after so long, Ice Train Photo Works. Mm-hmm. Ang pressure niya dito is that, uh, how to, uh, uh, meron siyang ina-offer na na eh, pero this is on a barter basis. Uh, since pupunta siya ng cosplay main niya, may mag, uh, may mag, direct sa kanya ng mag, uh, gawin siyang photographer for his cosplayers. Uh, sige, take nyo nalakan ng pagkain. I, I, that's a to, kung baga para, it, it is reflected as a token of gratitude. Mm-hmm. What do you think of that? I, I, I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. It's a deal. It's a deal. It's called an exchange deal, yes. Technically, it's... Value for value. It's not... It's not money. It's not as a payment or monetary value mm-hmm. because 
He could treat it as a way as like a token of appreciation. Yes. 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 Or gratitude. Yes. Para, yes, I'm okay with it. Diba? So yeah, thanks. Let's dig a little deeper, Jenny. Hmm. This guy is a uh, uh, was already a costume photographer. Mm-hmm. He mm-hmm. already has a uh, he already has a bit of clout from what I can tell. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So and he was off and now he's coming back. Mm-hmm. Look what he's doing first. He's building reputation. Mm-hmm. Uh, he, kasi he doesn't know if people still value what he's doing. Mm-hmm. So let's offer you something that uh, easy to pass. Easy to It's an easy way to get over. Hey, just uh, just share some food. At, at mm-hmm. the end of the photo session, if you like it that much and you want to, to do more, you know, a better setup, more professional, I can do that. Then there's a contract. That's a good example of good mm-hmm. way of. But but he he knows his value because he knows oh. his worth. Eh. Bawal angels burger sa kanya. <laughs> Minute burger, pwede pa. Big J. Big J. Minimum DJ. <laughs> At least, ano, imagine yeah, that. But it's, I, I think, uh, I think uh, if you know your value naman, eh, of course, you will depend that value. At, mm-hmm. at the very least, huh. at the very best, rather, no? I, I think I'm okay with that setup na para barter deal, exchange deal. People are doing these exchange deals, value for value, so on and so forth, and yun nga. Yeah, tip nga na rin. Kasi pag, the, the, the moment okay, you mention example, cash, it, it, it somehow turns you off. But at the moment na mention mo na anything other than cash or yun nga, cash or anything good as cash mm-hmm. may you turn off anything mm-hmm. that isn't cash pwede <laughs> I think ang magandang ano dyan is uh, a good place to start is walang nalilugin oh. mm-hmm. kasi if you like I don't know who you are I don't know kung magaling ka I don't know kung magaling na model ka I don't know if you're gonna get me hot to a better place, either as a photographer or, or, or as a cosplayer. So why don't you set up on a on a ground that you feel like nobody's trying to steal from each other? You know, mm. uh, yung, yeah, something like that. Just share food after nobody's really lost anything. I think mm-hmm. there's a good sa- example like this one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and we're discussing the new parang ba- tokens or maybe X deals. Mm-hmm. I'm reading this from uh, one of the people that uh, I have respect the most. Loki Hart, to quote, I never paid for photo shoots with my photographer friends. Not a single cent. I repaid them by sharing their works and crediting their photos. I told myself I will hire photographers I never worked with or have never been friends with just to show I can also support their craft. I tried asking my photographer friends how much their rates are, but they are either shy or really don't want to charge me. Some of them agreed to be hired, but with a friendly price. There is nothing wrong in paying for photographers. If you can afford this hobby, you can also pay a little extra for that photos. And yes, cosplay is an expensive hobby. FYI, I collaborate with, with my photographer friends, meaning we both shoulder shoot expenses like the venue and the transport. I provide the costumes and my photo friends take care of the photos afterwards. A joint project of both parties doesn't require payments to each other. That's one great example. Mm-hmm. Yes, uh, in this in in this industry, marami tayong creative people. We are cre- we are a creative industry. The Philippines is creative. It's, it's it has yet to be developed, pero it's already developed in some aspects. Eh. Pero mm. moving forward, um, masasabi natin dito sa uh, issue na to. Again, we have better ways to sort this out. Na hindi ma- hindi magiging uh, for example, uh, okay. Si, si Eric, bigyan lang natin ng minute burger na binili sa cosplay mail niya, baka pwede na sa kanya. Di ba? It's, it's uh-huh. win-win kasi yung exhibitor, laki kinabang. Hmm. Minute burger. <laughs> At, uh, hmm. Tapos, yun, ano, si minute burger, nagbabayad sa cosplay mail niya, nagbabayad sa renta. Hmm. Which is, okay. Alright. I think, yeah, well, uh, our good it benefits, it, it benefits naman eh. I think so, good. people come to minute burger. And, <laughs> Well, and get the memes. And get the memes. <laughs> and get the memes. And get the memes. Yes. Such beautiful postings. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> definitely. Anyway, yung ano? Uh, I think ang look is a post here. Uh, strikes a good zone of starting with respect. Yeah. You start with respecting each other, talaga. Uh, because the photographers have such a high respect for this cosplay that ayon naman nilang on charge because they feel like maybe they're the ones getting value out of the cosplay. Yung ano naman? And look at naman respects the photographers so much that she wants to be able to support their craft. Which I think is a beautiful place to start. Yeah. Um, and then I think that's where the conversation really has to 
uh, start uh, to set it itself up in. Now we recognize that your photography talents are valuable, but you also have to recognize that the, that that's not the only thing that we have to take care of as mm -hmm. cosplayers. I mean, I'm not a cosplayer, but I think that's where yeah. Captain Wu. I said like, oh, we could make another example. Uh, similar to the scenario, for example, we could say a different example aside from from uh, cosplay photographers. How about? Uh, fan artists or maybe illustrators. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have friends who are really good at you know doing fan arts. Now we appreciate it. We ask for commissions and we pay them, right? Huh. But uh, we ask for custom artworks and then they make and then sometimes do like additional bonus, like we give them gifts. Huh. It's like that. But we show respect and we appreciate their ta uh, their effort and their talents. Eh? And in that way, there's a good mutual and uh, eh, para connection na we respect each other. So mm -hmm. let's help each other na to make it uh, bigger. So with that idea, para if you do it in a different way, like here, uh ka sa mga cosplayers sa conventions, para it starts sa parang bad vibes ng ganito, parang turn off agad pag oh. sinabing cash eh. Anything that is cash or good as cash, turn off. So kasi parang sabi pinipirahan ba ako? Mm -hmm. Yung yeah, yeah, yeah. idea. The, well, ano kasi, it's a natural human reaction na if you uh, feel like they're being sold to, mm -hmm. Then they don't like it. Yeah. yeah. So, so do it a better approach. Para if you want to, parang make it as a ano, ano, way of living for you, and, or maybe a proper profession. Na uh, it could you know feed you or maybe get you a brand new house. Let's start with good enough reputation. Yeah, that's good. It's not what you say; it's how you say it. It's not what you do; it's how you do it. So I think uh, na exhaust na natin lahat ng mga mga insights natin on how these things from the perspectives of organizers, the cosplayers, and photographers. Hindi po kami mga cosplayers again, pero we've been uh, to watch for the lack of being a cosplayer. We've been to this, I've been to this for almost a decade na. How long have you been here? Well, in terms more, you know, gaming journalism. Yeah. In, in, in for 10 years. Hindi pa ko usang na gaming journalism at that time. Yeah, huh? actually. And in terms for you know, event management or maybe event organizing. Mm -hmm. Wait, I think there's one more question. Oh, no, yeah, yeah. Go, go. So, and then, I think you've been kind of pretty pro cosplayer for the entire time. Mm -hmm. So, at what point do you think a, a photographer, like, let's say there's a cosplay photo that gets around, mm -hmm. the cosplayer gets huge because of it. Mm -hmm. And does the photographer, what do you think about the photographer? Should there have been royalties? Because it's like, a community. Or yung cosplayer, or should it be limited to just being credited? It has to be para ano, it depends on the agreement uh -huh. of the two parties. Uh, pero kung walang agreement, I'd say, kung hindi kayang bayaran ni cosplayer yung photographer, refer uh -huh. niya yung photographer uh -huh. niya. This, share, is, ano, this, share is the, this is the one who captured the best shot that I've had. Please go to him. Uh -huh. if, you can, parang, if you can afford to parang give him a huge chunk of money, at least do something with your current cloud to promote it. As with as with the art industry in the Philippines, as with this art industry, crediting people for their work, for their actual work, goes a long way. Mm -hmm. Ayun. So, uh, ako, I'll, uh, no, I'll, uh, yung intro natin for the podcast, it's credited to Lee Rose Ver, who created that track, and nakuha natin yun sa free podcast sounds. Maybe in the near future, if I have the ability to get si, si B, hey, it's B, to do a podcast intro, maybe we can do that. So, I'm just waiting for that time. Siya din naghihintay para sa akin. Mm -hmm. uh, yun, 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 these are the stories of content creators. Uh -huh. It's hard to be a content creator, especially you have this size, you have these beliefs, you have this, you have to do this and do that and Competition do that. Pa, diba? Competition pa, yeah, What right. will make you stand out? Is that uh, that something that really matters at, mo, uh, at most? So yeah, uh, I guess we're done with the discussion in this uh, cosplay photography thing, and we look forward to see you at cosplay media. Yeah. Yeah. So, the idea is here, para if some photographer who still start another argument or cycling the same argument again, para um, the only answer here is bakit <laughs> That's the bottom line. Uh, uh, so we already shared all the insights now. What, why is it wrong, mm -hmm. and what is the better approach? Uh -oh. yun, eh. Para, if you don't want to, ano, adjust yourself to be, ano, become more professional. Mm -hmm. Mahal ka man, eh. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, so on this uh, last part of our uh, program or our podcast, I'll be going to Cosplay Mania Day 2. Uh, I'll be also pl- I'm also planning to go to Red Major, but I'll put it in. We can drop by. Kasi it's free admission. Uh, uh, any spectator? Oh, okay, so just. Yo, no, 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 plug it, plug it. Okay, coming this uh, next weekend on. I don't know. Coming next Come. weekend. Next, <laughs> coming next weekend. <laughs> It's so, so wrong here. No, next weekend. Uh, Soler. Uh, Soler. The 10th Soler. The, the uh, topmost part. Yeah, Soler. the topmost part. Uh, uh, Rev Major 2019 will happen there. Mm-hmm. So, what can you expect with Rev Major? Katsuhi <laughs> Yohada! Iyo imi nase! Technically, it's all of the major fighting game tournaments. Yes. And, uh, and the main first personalities behind these competitions, right? Yeah, I mean, you got second seven for the mas- oh no, master level of the mm. yeah. So whoever wins would get a spot at the world finals yep. in Japan. And you can compete with the AK. Yeah, yes, of even course. Uh, and also, we have Dragon Ball Fighters. Mm. So there's also another global tournament happening there. Mm. And then also other have uh, a lot of side tournaments. A lot of side tournaments. Lot of side and tournaments. other major tournaments like Street Fighter V, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Uh, Hilti Gear. Not only games though, we also have a bunch of personalities. Yeah. Rada already being dropped. Yeah. We also have enough. Uh, we also have Daigo. Daigo coming. And a lot of uh, uh, very big competitors. Uh, Saints coming. Yeah. Uh, and Yu Yu? Uh, yeah, Yuyu's gonna. Yuyu's gonna. Tanukana will be showing up. Tanukana, right. And, it, and the fan favorites are and coming. Yeah, we got some big guns in the casting like uh, Mark. Markman, 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 Tasty, 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 Tasty. Yeah, it yeah. seems good coming as well. Do it again. Do it again. <laughs> <laughs> so it's gonna be a huge event. It's uh, it's it's literally kind of evil. It's, it's like it's, yeah. in a, it's in it's in it's another it's in a casino. evil level. <laughs> evil level. <laughs> it's in the casino. First time, first first gaming event to be held in that kind. Yeah, 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 yeah. Asia, right? um, yeah, yeah. It's Southeast Asia, right? Technically, yeah, I could say that. Mm. Parang parang ang red major ngayon. If we go a level up higher, it's Evo. Yeah, it's Evo or Evo. Evo. It's, it's at least our level. Our version. Our, our so version are the major uh, major fighting game tournaments that even international players are showing up. To yeah. Compete. I mean, red uh, red major last year was absolutely huge. Uh, there was a very tight um, venue, but everybody enjoyed themselves. Mm. Uh, I can't recommend it enough. And now they're taking it a level higher. Yeah. By having it. In Solaire. So yeah. Yeah, which so is near Mall of Asia. So which is near SMX. One shuttle away from Cosplay Mania 2019. Don't do this to me. After you're done with you know with your shenanigans of Cosplay Mania, you can move to Solaire. One shuttle away lang. Uh, uh, pero magpame bay ba yun? No, aspect uh, uh, for shuttle I think it's free. For it's free pero kailangan yata may tansan. Uh, baka may kailangan uh, membership na, but kasi sa art sa uh, other sa other casino na binubulungan ka uh, they require you to have like 200 peso purchase no, no, I think for some other uh, for some shuttles na it requires you to have a membership yeah and for example you don't have a membership card you can say na I will just register there mm. and then after, once you go to so there you can register for a membership and yeah. then you can use it infinitely infinitely pero yeah. again you have to play responsibly in oh, yeah. the casino. It means, <laughs> casino is our 21. Uh, oh, yeah, also, no minors allowed. No minors allowed in the casino, allows, uh, casino yes. But Red Major, you're allowed. Red Major, you're allowed. Okay. Just go around the casino, guys. All Iorimina se fans are allowed at Red Major. <laughs> <laughs> we just have to bombard Harada san about Iorimina se. Right, so, solid. So, so right September 28 to 29, same day with Cosplay Mania, but in a different venue. Yeah, speaking of Cosplay Mania, I will be at Boyd Curse Meetup. I will commit myself to be at Boyd Curse Meetup, come what may. All right. And yeah. of course, I'll be there for Station Uh Okay, so, uh, ano pa bang events natin? We have other events coming up. Coslandia is on November 1 to 3 at oh, SMX yeah, well, Aura. Uh, uh, what's the biggest event? It's. What's the biggest event? Oh no. Uh, E S G S. That's happening. October. I have a ticket. Nice. <laughs> October. Because, oh yeah, uh, I think the SGS team will have a big surprise at the end of the month. So stay tuned because it's big. It's big. We just you know shit your bricks. We have Koji right there. Eh? Ready your bricks for the chubby chats. Well, what's that? Uh, all right, all right. I'll, I'll stay counting on it. 
And I'm, I'm like, he's subordinate and I don't know, so... <laughs> Well, <laughs> yeah, no, but yeah, uh, ESG is only there. Uh, I'll be meeting good friends of mine. Uh, I'll be meeting, uh, siguro I'll be doing a uh, mini self-help meetup. Because uh, there's this fact, uh, there's this case study in Singapore na uh, 12 noon to 4 a.m. are the saddest sad boy times. So we have to put up something positive. And this is why I'm trying to commit, I'm, I'm committing myself na Eto, uh, it's a story ako, maybe it can inspire you, it's like a gold cast, but keep safe. <laughs> Kaya makikita nyo ako minsan nagpo-post ako sa page ng like 1am, 2am, 4am. Uh, that that happens. Uh, do, uh, ako din, sad boy din ako for oh, one. So, I think may writing version na yung keep safe. Keep safe? Keep safe? Keep Okay, we're not, we're not getting there. It's full some whole some tidy, the whole some tidy talk. That's what she said. Whole some tidy, the whole some tidy talk. Ah, yun yano. No? Uh, um, yes, Coslandia will have the World Cosplay Summit Philippines Team Philippines 2019, talking about their their skills, their craft, performing on stage. Pero ang pinaka importante is the pop culture Hiroshima Philippines qualifiers for NCR, the first in NCR. And it will be happening alongside the other activities such as Seiki Matsu Blue, MNN48, Underground Idols, and Japanese artists, and even Cosplay, Cosmode will be featured there. SMX Aura, November 1 to 3. Coslandia, if you're listening, if you're watching, I'm looking forward to meet you again. Maybe we can have a reply from you in the coming days. <laughs> hello, hello, please. And I'm. I'm 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 not I, I <laughs> It's okay. I'm, yeah. I'm sure they're here in your prayer. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Na, one and a half hour now. Okay, yeah. one and a half hour now. It's a pretty long discussion. I, right. Well, we said it's a pretty long podcast. And this podcast, hindi nyo pwedeng maliitin to pag mahaba ang podcast, ibig sabihin malaki ang insight dito, especially with my good guys here from the Rainbow of Files. Um, meron pa ano eh, meron pa akong hindi natatapos na ano eh. Yeah, the cosplay week at the end of the year. Ozing, cosplay mania. I got Ozing Cosplay Matsui. Ozing AFS Cosplay Matsui. I think that's the rest of the events. Oh, no, not to mention my home turf, December Toy Con. December Toy Con. Uh, yung ano, so another busy event here. Maraming salamat po sa pakinig. This has been episode number 54. Yay! Yay! Yes! Yeah, so basahin natin ilang ilang comments right. from yeah. Stan. Okay, so friends, thank you friends for listening. She's agreeing with the private shoots and hindi mo wala ang private shoots sa. I I I for one will be still be participating. Si Stan, uh, investing in your skills and your name doesn't net your results overnight. Definitely, it took me three years to get back on track after 2015. Ano nga, 2015, 6, 7, 8, 9, 19. Dang. Four years, man. Four years. Si Rancile, ito, itong yung nobya, yung, ay, nobya ba niya yun? Uh, na, nakakatawa yung nobya niya eh. Uh, she really delivers best jokes on Facebook. Happiness keeps you long life. Salamat po! Ayun, uh, siguro meron pa tayo ano dito. Oops. And ayun, ayan. Tingnan natin yung comments dito. Ayun, no? Thank you very much sa mga nanonood. Si Boss Mac, shout out po ulit. Shout out Boss Mac! Shout out Boss Mac! Si Stan Galupo, si Rina Lynn and Santos of Otaku Vibes. Si Franz Uy, maraming salamat po. And Tito pa! Hindi kita nakalimutan yung mention. Nawaglit lang yung comment mo sa Facebook. Kaya Pat, Tito Pat has helped me with the migration of Keepsix and the elevating Keepsix in 2.0. Actually, Pat Tolay, thank you very much. We only have 5 viewers left. Mga tulog na po itong mga to. It's already 11. 40 in the evening. Maraming salamat po and this has so been... Thanks for us. Yeah, thanks for sticking with us. You can also share it even after the uh, no, live yeah. stream. Yeah, so yeah, people yeah. People can hear the insights and then, you know, you can learn something. Yeah, and yes, the podcast it will still be available at anger.fm slash keepsakes on Spotify, on Apple Podcasts, and whatever you're listening to. That wraps up another episode of Keepsakes, the podcast. No episodes can be heard at anchor.fm slash keepsakes, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, and Spotify. Leave your voice messages to this podcast through the Anchor app available on Google Play and App Store. Don't forget to visit me on social media for updates. 
facebook.com slash keepsakesbyj, twitter at jayagonoy, youtube.com slash jayagonoy, and my blog at www.jayagonoy.xyz. Shout out to Lee Rosie Bear for the music. I hope you enjoyed listening to this podcast. Until next time.